What's going on, guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost, and comedian Jon Stewart is getting absolutely destroyed right now for his comments surrounding the Harry Potter franchise and on J.K. Rowling. Now, J.K. Rowling herself has been at the center of a cancel culture attack for over a year now. People want her gone. People want her canceled all over her thoughts on trans women and about biology. But now Jon Stewart has said something that a lot of people are pushing back on, and it's this headline right here. Jon Stewart calls out J.K. Rowling's anti-Semitic goblins in Harry Potter franchise. Now, famously, Jon Stewart is Jewish himself. Uh, and when he made these comments surrounding goblins and Harry Potter and J.K. Rowling and what he thinks it means... He got a lot of pushback from a lot of people, including those in his own community. If you search out Jon Stewart on Twitter and you just scroll down, you can see a ton of people calling him out. And don't worry, we're going to listen to what he said so you have the full context for yourself because Jon Stewart has now come out trying to do damage control and said, I never said anything like that. We're going to listen to his original words. We're going to listen to his clarification. I want everybody to have all the facts. But this is the reason that he's coming out and talking about it again. Uh, John Stewart, from one Jew to another, you're a putz. To go after J.K. Rowling when she's being attacked and canceled by the mob is disgusting. Oh, that's right. You're the genius who claimed cancel culture doesn't really exist. Uh, total and utter BS. J.K. Rowling doesn't have an anti-Semitic bone in her body. Quite the opposite. In fact, a concept out of fashion these days. John Stewart should apologize for his ignorant, false, and hurtful smear. Uh, never once in all the times I've watched any Harry Potter movies have I ever thought of being drawn anything anti-Semitic or anything else. I guess if folks are simply looking for it, though, and this is coming from Jewish outlets, this is coming from Jewish people all over the Twitter timeline right now, and that has resulted in Jon Stewart speaking out specifically against Newsweek right here. Newsweek says Jon Stewart accuses J.K. Rowling of anti-Semitism. He says, no, I did not. And in fact, has released an entire statement about this, which we will watch. But first, let's listen to the words that have got him in so much hot water right now. Uh, this is from Daily Mail. Uh, Here's how you know Jews are still where they are. Jon Stewart accuses J.K. Rowling of anti-Semitism over her depiction of goblins. So we're going to listen to this. They start off, I don't know what this podcast is other than just uh, John Stewart's podcast. I don't know the other guys on there, but they were talking about something to do with a bar mitzvah, and then it just kind of evolved to something Harry Potter related. Let's listen. The access. The Jews have a right. That's what chapter of Harry Potter is that in? That's one of. That's <laughs> when they get to Gringotts, right? Can I tell you something about that? Is Harry a Potter? wild thing. Here's how you know, and this is the whole thing, and you don't have to use this, but this is true. <laughs> Here's how you know. Use it. Like Jews are still where they are talking to people, what I say is, have you ever seen a Harry Potter movie? And people are all like, I love the Harry Potter movies. Like, you ever see the scenes in Gringotts Bank? And they're like, I love the scenes in Gringotts Bank. He's like, do you know what those folks that run the bank are? And they're like, what? And they're like, Jews. And, and, then, that I remember, and then that person says, no, goblins. <laughs> and then you go, and you're like, do you hear let, yourself? Let me show you this. Now, and I will say just the very idea that so many people are out there looking for something like that to compare and to be like, ah, gotcha, look, 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 this proves it. it is very, very strange to me. I've heard this thrown around before over the past several years, never by someone like Jon Stewart, but let's continue to listen. From, uh, it's the Protocols of the Elders of Zion. I just want to show you a caricature and they're like, oh, look at that, that's from Harry Potter. And you're like, no, <laughs> yeah. that's a caricature of a Jew from an anti-Semitic piece of literature, J.K. Rowling was like, can we get these guys to run our bank? And you're like, this is, it's it's a wizarding world. It's a world where it's you like- You can imagine anything. The train station has a half a thing and no one can see it. And we can ride dragons and you've got a pet owl. And who, who runs should, the bank? Who should run the bank? Uh, Jews. <laughs> Not only like, that, no, it's, I feel like she was like, why'd you make it so subtle? Yeah, I mean, it's real, like, yeah, they look like Jews. What if the teeth were sharper? And you're like, oh, okay. I truly are right. So this this was the vein in which they were talking about. It. Obviously, they are joking around, but it's obviously clear that he's saying that that's something he feels was in this movie. At least to me, that's how I read it. Now, again, 
Uh, John Stewart is a comedian. Uh, John, they're laughing. They're joking about it. It's pretty lighthearted. It doesn't seem like they're inherently trying to cancel anybody or anything like that. They're making mention of it, but they are throwing some things on there about the perception of these goblins in Harry Potter. Now, when you go across the spectrum right now, when you look at all the reactions to this, a lot of people are saying, are we really going to say that now every time we're talking about goblins, we're trying to make this about that? Is that really where we want to go? And I don't think a whole lot of people legitimately want that. But with that being said, with that statement now out there in your brains after hearing that, Jon Stewart is now saying something else. Uh, he's coming out and trying to clarify everything. Now, the audio on this is incredibly low, so I'm going to do my best to boost it, uh, boost it in the post-editing, but just so you guys know. Henrik and Jay, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. And we were bullshitting about all kinds of stuff, and we started talking about bar mitzvahs, and then Jay uh, said something like, he, he did a funny riff on it, like, uh, what chapter of Harry Potter was that? And we went off on a Harry Potter thing, right? Mm -hmm. There is no reasonable person that could have watched it and not seen it as a lighthearted conversation amongst colleagues and chums, uh, <laughs> having a larf, in, enjoying ourselves uh, uh, about Harry Potter and my experience watching it for the first time in a theater as a Jewish guy, and and how some tropes are so embedded in society that they're uh, basically invisible, even in a considered process like movie making. Right? Absolutely. So, um, <laughs> that was a really weird cut to that girl to say, absolutely, but keep, keep going. We did that a month ago, a month ago. So like two COVID mutations ago, <laughs> back when we were still in like beta world or whatever, wherever we were, this is a month ago. This morning I wake up, it's trending on Twitter. And here's the headline from Newsweek. John Stewart accuses J.K. Rowling, 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 J.K. Rowling of anti-Semitism. So let, let me let me just say this, like super clearly, as clearly as I can. Uh, can I get a close up? All right, You're in control of your own camera. Right. Bring your I'm face in. I'm in control in. of my close ups. All right, let me do camera this. one. Hello, uh, my name is John Stewart. I do not think J.K. Rowling is anti-Semitic. I did not accuse her of being anti-Semitic. I do not think that the Harry Potter movies are anti-Semitic. I really love the Harry Potter movies, probably too much for a gentleman of my considerable age. <laughs> uh, so I would just like to say that none of that is true and not a reasonable person could not have looked at that conversation and not found it lighthearted. So let me say this instead to Newsweek. Um, your business model is fucking arson. And not the good kind, not the good kind of arson where they light. Right, so now he goes from here to kind of just attacking the media and the way that they portrayed his words. I'll say this, I hear what he's saying. I do think it was lighthearted. I don't think there was anything necessarily mean spirit about it. But there's also not really a doubt in my mind that he is saying that these things in and of themselves are anti-Semitic. Um, now, I don't think he's necessarily calling for J.K. Rowling to be canceled or anything like that because of it. I think that's a little bit different. However, you can't deny that he's saying that his interpretation of this was that, that he does feel like these tropes that appear in these movies are inherently anti-Semitic. So Jon Stewart has now gone full damage control when it comes to this and something else interesting uh, this is Jack Posobiec. Did Jon Stewart change the thumbnail on his Harry Potter video after it went viral? Because here you have the original one. Th this is what it says. The anti-Semitism of Harry Potter, right? Like th that's what this thumbnail says. And then after it gets all blown up, it says anti-Semitic tropes. That's a little bit of a different story. You're saying, I don't think Harry Potter is anti-Semitic. I don't think J.K. Rowling is anti-Semitic. But this is what you labeled the video. That could be a problem when you're now trying to spin a different story. So 
Jon Stewart makes a comment about J.K. Rowling, gets absolutely destroyed for it, and is now trying to spin things a little bit different way. I think that there's a lot of gray to this story, and more may continue to come out. You never know. Uh, Jon Stewart, I do know that Jon Stewart posted this message on his YouTube, right? Here's the same thing. Message from the president, the video we just saw, that has since been removed for some reason. Uh, I, I don't really know. I, I don't really know why that is, but it's still up on Twitter. Who knows? Jon Stewart definitely stepped in it and is now doing damage control. What do you think of this entire conversation? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.